Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Space Engineers. And yes, I'm back at the survival unit here. Uh, I want to get some nickel going today, because uh got a little bit of work over there I want to do before we go on a little bit of a journey today. Uh, as you can see, I have cleaned up everything around here. I got everything all moved over there, and uh, as you can see, the blue over there, I uh, discovered a few things. And we're going to check those out pretty quick here. I'm going to try to process a little bit more of this. Just need a little bit of nickel for, uh, let me get some conveyors going today. Uh, yeah, so I uh, was thinking about what happened with the rover. Oh, scrap metal. I uh, found out what to do with that too. Uh, with the rover, I think what happened was, because um, I had the wheel attached to a container, and not an armor block, I think the container might have been a little weaker. So I possibly could have you know, hit something and not realize that it was in a state of repair and so I guess when I drove off maybe I clipped a wind turbine or something and it just broke it off. So I have redesigned it and I'll show you that first. I uh, changed it up a little bit, I got the containers off the bottom there, I put the batteries in the back where they're safe up top, I put an ore detector in the, right here and then I put uh, one, of the medium, one of these containers in here and then left access for this container here so we have 5,000 liters of storage um, as you can see everything's red right now and that is because I found out that Y actually powers up and powers off so that is good uh, as far as the wheels go uh, wheels do actually show up in a group I just wasn't paying attention to the top where the star was so there's that and uh, I adjusted the settings a little bit I brought the what was it the power down to 10% so I still get good speed, it just doesn't take off like a rocket anymore, and I will demonstrate that by actually getting in there and turning, hitting the right button. So it goes, it gets some good speed, and I don't have to worry about losing control, so it is definitely, definitely a good thing. And then, like I said, I got the ore detector on here, I got it set to maximum distance, so that is good. Uh, today, I would really like to find some cobalt, just because I want to try to get some sort of flight going so we'll turn that off we'll get out of the cockpit and and then we'll go to the other thing I discovered was uh, this thing I haven't quite figured this out yet but what it was if we go in here we'll go to LCD panel show text on the screen I didn't do that uh, there's different fonts but the fonts aren't changing I gotta change the colors alignment all that stuff uh, these textures don't show up, and I think that might be because they need to be for the other ones here. I'm sorry, <laughs> I keep hitting the wrong button. And th these ones here. So we might look at those down the road, but that's not that big of a deal because that's bulletproof glass, which means we got to hit up some silicone. So uh, what I'm going to do after I hit the right button to get out of here. Escape always works. I want to move some stuff around. Uh, I have been busy too. I did a couple of runs over to the mine there, so I got 666 plates. That's an odd number, but 11,000 iron, which is pretty good. I think I still have some more in here, do I? No. But yeah, I uh, filled this thing up three times back and forth, so we got tons of iron. I got, I think I actually have plates on me. No, I don't have some iron now. That's actually what I wanted to do. Uh, we got to make some motors. Uh, the scrap you can actually refine it you don't get much but you get a little bit of iron out of it so it always comes in handy uh, especially when you find like 40 or 60 of them at least it gives you a little bit of iron right so I was gonna go ahead and make some motors here actually is that what I need? what did I actually need for the conveyors I think it was motors and yes I'm actually looking at a storage container right now and I'm just thinking to myself I probably have a whole bunch of motors in there now uh, do it that way, that's easier. Yeah, motors and small steel tubes, which are nothing. And yes, I do have motors. So that means we can actually get this set up. I'm thinking about, since the refinery is actually empty, we can actually get rid of this. Well, not get rid of it, but move it. And if you look at my uh, number three hotbar there, I hit up a drone and or drop pod and found a enhanced drill tool. So that was a good one. All right, now I gotta go ahead and get that refinery back. Uh, yeah, sadly, a lot of stuff is locked behind cobalt, which uh, hence the name of the episode. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I was doing shift P. Uh, I'll make the refinery red, just because. Oh, that's the wrong way. We get a little darker. 
There we go. All right, and which way is the front? There we go. The one that said has a sign that actually says basic refinery. And then I'm gonna finish this up, and then we're gonna hook up the container uh, conveyors. Actually, we gotta move the battery first. Uh, or I'm gonna move the battery. Uh, the reason why I made so many plates, I was actually thinking about expanding this compound a little bit. And see where it goes. Uh, it's gonna suck losing all this power, but you gotta do it. Unfortunately, there's no conveyor port on the top of this thing. Uh, originally, I was planning on closing this little area in with glass, but since iron's gonna be rolling in pretty. Does this thing not have a conveyor, or is it. Oh, is it actually. I want to check something here. Because I have a feeling that maybe it's on the side. Uh, oh yeah. I just want to take all the iron out of here and see if the fabricator can actually see it. Or. No. Well, where is the conveyor on this thing? I thought it was on the back. So I took the back off. There's nothing on the top. So. I don't think it's underneath. I don't really want to take the floor out just in case it drops down. And that thing's full. Uh, let's actually. Let's want to find out. Go in here and. Basic, basic assembler. Uh, shift clicking doesn't work in this game. Alright, so let's see. Really? It doesn't have conveyors. That sucks. Well, that's because there goes that idea. Uh, yeah, zero. Alright, well, that's good enough. So uh, I guess I until we get the, the big assembler before we can hook up conveyors to it, unfortunately, we need cobalt for that. Just like we need cobalt for everything. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to clear that out. Where did I get that from? Oh, I guess when uh, you dismantle stuff, that some of it turns to scrap, you'll lose some of the parts. Be my guess. Oh well. Recycle it. Throw it back in there and continue on. So, let's... uh. I was thinking about heading that way. I was sort of checking out the area by cheating with the extended third person view. I was thinking about maybe checking out that valley over there. You know, there was something in the tooltips about rocks, and I see a rock right there. So that might be worthwhile checking out. So uh, let us do that. Uh, v, yes. So many keys. They gotta get a thought activated gaming. We just think about it and it does it for you. And now, because I have the ore detector on here, I should be able to see the ores as I go. I was looking at the speed and, uh... uh I don't know, what am I saying? The speed limit on the wheels. And uh, it's set at 50% right now, which is 180 kilometers an hour, which is... It's pretty good. We can go up to, I think, about 360. So, I'm just going to drive around for now until I can uh, see something that shows up saying Cobalt. As you can see, I got some ice there, and that just disappeared, and so on and so forth. So I shall be right back. I haven't found anything yet, but I did happen to notice the, the icons on the right. Now she says Y for power, P for parking brake, which I had no idea. Would have saved my rover from rolling away a few times. And O for uh, broadcasting, transmitting antenna, stuff like that. And there's some silicone, magnesium, and the like. But anyways, yeah, I thought I'd just show you that. Yeah, another thing about the cobalt too. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it, but it does apparently spawn like 40 meters down. So it's really hard to find. Uh, it's more or less you might... One of those things where basically you just gotta dig in a random spot and keep digging until you find it. But I see a deep valley here, and this might actually be like a better spot to possibly locate it. Kind of makes me wonder what else could be down there. Like, I know there's gold and platinum and silver and nickel and magnesium we've seen and stuff like that, but... Anyway, I shall be back. Isn't this funny? 
I get my, ro my rover stuck and I, well, not necessarily stuck, but uh, I'm driving around and I see a bit of a biome change here and I just had to check it out and sort of hit this little mini cut. I thought I was going to lose my lose my rover, but I'm okay, but you can see it right at the bottom there, there's cobalt. Uh, I have been finding gold and silver, so that is good. Uh, fortunately, I can dig this thing out. Uh, unfortunately, though, I don't know where this cobalt is, but I discovered that you can see it in the third person, so it's actually behind me, I do believe. Yes. Uh, let's see if I can actually get out of here first. Uh, it is dark, so I'll bring you back uh, in the morning. It shouldn't be too long. Damn it. <laughs> Don't ask me how it flipped over. Wow, that's why I was in the hill here. So I'm guessing the cobalt's in the hill. Because it was pointing generally this direction. So I'll let that settle. Oh, don't pull up. And it's good. Yes. All right, I want to see if I can find where this cobalt was. That's why I love recording. Why are these batteries not getting power? Or are they just not charged? Let me check that for a second here. Uh, yeah, there was two I didn't finish. I guess it's not going to tell me the individual stats. Alright, it's just not charged. Okay. Alright, so, I'm going to... Take the parking brake off, I thought it might help. Alright, so the cobalt was up here. Uh, something's coming up, let me find it and I'll bring you back. Okay, it seems to be directly below me. Fortunately, I have a better tool, and I don't don't mean me, so I'll bring you back when I find it. Finally, I get it on the radar. All right, I'll be there shortly. Oh, what do you know? It's blue. Go figure. All right, so I'm gonna try to clear out some of this stone here, because I don't want to be clogging on my inventory with this crap. And then I need to find an up. That's a really nice cut looking vein. I gotta find my way back up to the surface. Uh, it wasn't that one, it was uh, up there. So, yeah, we're like 60 meters down. So, I gotta find a quicker route. The rover's over there, so I, I might try to go up this way and go from there. But let's take the first chunk, see what it looks like. Oh, don't go anywhere. Alright, that's good stuff. Right there. Anyway, I'm going to load up and I'll uh, bring you back once I'm dead back. Okay, this is the, the last of it. Alright, not the last of it, the last of what I can carry. I uh, got the rover completely full. I did have some supplies on me, so I had to uh, store them into the cockpit door. Uh, get that nasty stone out of here. I don't need that. Uh, eventually, I'll have to look for some nickel. Look for some nickel too, uh, just because we're gonna need it for other things. Uh, I don't really want to be grinding stone the whole time. But yeah, so I am fully loaded with up with cobalt as much as I can take. I got a got a beacon here, so I can find it. And uh, hopefully n next time we come here, we'll have some uh, better mining equipment. I got something in mind, but uh, yeah, I'll meet you back at the base. Okay, we are back just in time for morning, too. I love those turbines. I'm sorry, those are just awesome. I want to get a whole farm of those things, generating enough power to power the whole universe. Create the nice big bang. Nope. Shut you down. No, I'll put the parking brake on. Just in case. And I know uh, you can actually push it when the parking brake is on. You can actually push it. Go. Push it. Yeah, shut up. There. Uh, yeah, I don't have the room for that. All right, uh, let's go up and uh, I guess we're gonna re refine it. Ooh, shiny cobalt. Good. Uh, I'm gonna go in here. Uh, let me get everything refined, and I'll bring you right back. 
seem to hit another slight stag with this these metal grids nickel I know I can get that from uh, the stone over in the rescue pod there so I'm gonna have to do that since this is still processing that we're not getting a whole lot or it's just taking a long time I think it's taking a long time how's the power situation doing uh, let's see here uh, oh cuz I took the battery out that's right Not outputting very much. Slow wind day. That's why I gotta get more more turbines. Uh, anyway, I'll be right back. Okay, I got it. I got I think about 50 units of nickel. I think that's all we really needed. Well, I think it's more than what we needed. I only need uh, 10 frames for the assembler and got some silicone out of it too. So there we go. Not that it matters. I got a silicone mine behind me. All right, so let's go ahead and okay, it was only one point seven. All right, let's grab some. See much this cobalt's done. Seventy. Yeah, we're definitely having power problems here, but that's fine because that's all I need. Yes, I gotta get a new mouse. Uh, probably should be able to get one next weekend. It's a bit of an issue. Oh. Wrong spot. All right, let's go ahead and make ten of those because we are going to go ahead and make the assembler. All right, now what else do I need for this? All right, uh, 140 steel plates. Uh, let's actually get everything on me. Uh, let's see. We got a thousand plates, and sadly, that's not a whole lot, really. It was a hundred and I can't remember. Let me get everything ready. Let, get, let me get everything together. Okay, everything is done. I should have enough room on me for everything. Yes, I do. Just barely. So, um, where are we going to put this? Uh, I was thinking about expanding the platform a little bit, and I might actually do that. So, uh, let me do that. All right, so I got it expanded. I just went uh, two blocks out on all four sides. I still got to put the ramps in, but I'm waiting for more plates to print because... Uh, just enough now. So now we can go ahead and actually make this... Um, Disassembler. Oh. Uh, let's see what can I get to go. Uh, I don't need the drill right now. Well. Oh. Uh, oh. I need the grinder either. There we go. Alright, so let's go ahead and build this assembler. I think I have everything on me. Put that there. Oh. Oops. What am I doing? Hitting the wrong button. Oh, okay. Sorry. I had a, a dumbass moment. And, of course, I need the grinder because I wanted to stand this up. So, give me a second. Okay, that's better. Oh, yeah. Uh, speaking of energy, I did do one little thing. And we'll go do this. My recharge station. Go sit in the passenger seat for a second. It charges me up. Yeah, I had to... I was going through the block catalog and I was figuring all this stuff out. So now let's go ahead and actually build this. And I have everything. And I'm wondering if I'm going to be able to actually make a better tool in here. I'm sure I'm going to have to go off planet to find what I need for it. Right. Big stepping stone here. Yay. Cobalt. Unlock so many things. It's going to be great. I actually can't wait to start building some of the things I like to build out in space. Yeah, we'll keep it black. Oh, it has a second conveyor port up there. Alright, what can this do? Gravity components. Ah, that's great. I was uh, saw in the catalog here. They have... Where is it here? It's a space ball. A powered computer-controlled ball that re responds to gravity. Love it. Alright, so there is this, the assembler. So now, um, I did want to hook up this storage to everything. I, I might be able to. I don't know if I'd be able to access the inventory. I got things kind of screwed. I think there's actually one on top, was there not? No, there wasn't. Just on the back. Alright, well. Hmm. Let's put the storage over here then. I might have to turn the refinery. Could always do that. It would take ages to do. Maybe 
Yeah, let's let me do that. Let me clear that out. Put it in here. Get another container up, and then we'll mess with some con conveyors. Just looking at the cost on the regular refinery: twelve hundred plates. Wow, that's easy. Twenty metal grids. Yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, I don't know if we should go for this right now. We don't really need it. I don't think. Right now, it's just a matter of getting more power. But anyways, let's go with that, and uh, this time we'll rotate it. There we go. Uh, do I want the containers? Let's put the refinery over here. And then I'm going to get a small container, which is eight. No, that's not going to work here. Uh, that's, the, that's the medium, which only goes on the rovers, which is kind of weird, but that's how it is. Uh, cargo blocks. So we want small. Go ahead and put the small there. What? Interior plates. There we go. As you can see, I got more ice in there, so I am set for a long time. Uh, let me finish this up. Oh, this is cool. I found this thing. So a beacon come down. It was bouncing all over the place. The parachute wouldn't detach. And it turns out there's actually gyroscopes on here. Aha. Which means I should get the parts for them. Not that important. Uh, sadly, I wasn't able to open the container to find it in there or see what the... You know, the actual button gave me. Because I had to <laughs> tear it apart just to get it to stop. It just kept bouncing and bouncing and bouncing. I was hoping it was going to be something good, but I couldn't actually get Anyway. Anyway. Energy yes, energy critical. Uh, where's home? Wow. Oh, yeah, that's right. I went a long way. Anyway, I'll be, I'll be right back and we'll do the conveyors. Okay, so I made a uh, whole bunch of stuff here. Don't even know if I got room for it. Uh, no, I don't. I gotta let's get the scrap in the refinery. Get rid of that. Uh, don't need that. Don't need that. I think I need everything else. So let's actually try these conveyors out. I know there's big ones and small ones. We're gonna be using the big ones. And there's a junction, which I believe is like a six way. And then you can attach um, elbows to it. So if I put the, the junction here, and I put the elbows here, go to five. Uh, is that going the right way? Yes, it is. Okay. Then we go over here, and I think it's. There we go. There. And there. So they should all connect. So let me finish this up. And we should be good to go. When I built them, the lights were yellow and then they turned green. So I'm going to assume everything is connected. So if I go in here, I should be able to see inventories of everything. I think. Ah, there we go. Alright, so I should have cargo container, basic assembler, basic assembler. How is it reading the basic assembler? Oh, probably because it's on the same grid. I have no idea. Okay, well now the question is, if the refinery is hooked up to this, I should be able to put some cobalt in there. It should should actually move it automatically. Oh wait, hold on. Oh, there we go. Personal inventory. That is nice. I like that. And the same thing with that too. Uh, if there's iron in here, which there will be momentarily, uh, let's actually throw some in there. Uh, I got some. Got some in here. Sorry, I'm test. I gotta test stuff out. Like this out. 
So if I have the iron in there. Oh yeah, there we go. Uh, brain fart there. It's not reading it. Hmm. You'd think you'd be able to pull it out of that inventory. I guess not, but if I put it in here. Yes. Alright, well then, then that means that there's something in the terminal. Oh, shit. Use computer system, yes. Alright, so there's no way to actually output, like, sp specify the output. Interesting. Oh, well, there we go. So I got a somewhat better storage system set up. I'm going to have to get more of this and bigger refinery, but, uh, yeah, um, now that we have the cobalt, we can actually, actually, how much of that cobalt do we have to refine? A lot. But that's fine. So, yeah, uh, next episode we're gonna probably take, take to the air. I'm gonna make a better, try to make a better mining vehicle. This time it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be a rover, it's gonna be flying. I had an idea. I've been looking at the parts. Like I said, I like some of the ideas that they have, and I want to give them a shot. But anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.